All FMG aspirants, I hope all of you are doing great. This video is especially for fresh graduates of 2024 who are going to write exam for the first time in December 2024. So what should be the best planning and strategy for all the beginners? This is always good to know about the right strategy and all the mistakes to be avoided during the exam preparation. So first of all, let me categorize all the medicals as per their score in recent FMG exam. Medicals who have scored in between 146 to 149. These medicals have been very much knowledgeable, but lack of accuracy during the exam. Reason for this, lack of reviewing mock exam practice, lack of time management, anxiety, and lack of sleep before the day of exam. And the medicals who have scored in between 135 to 145, they would have done good revision, but lack of question practice. And 120 to 135 scorers, lack of revision, lack of question practice. And medicals who have scored in between 100 to 120, lack of knowledge, lack of everything. So what are the students' mistakes? Let me remind you all the mistakes what most of the medicals do during exam preparation. First, only rapid revision or no proper revision they do. Second, lack of sleep due to overthinking or anxiety, lagging behind the teacher's space, skipping the mock exam and jumping from one platform to another. Let me tell you how to tackle all these mistakes. First of all, related to rapid revision, please keep in mind, rapid revision is only for those people who already have completed the subjects from the main faculty. Rapid revision is for last month of exam preparation. Revision is the most important key to pass any exam. Lack of sleep due to overthinking or anxiety, how to overcome this? You are having anxiety and you are not able to sleep because you are thinking about result. Stop thinking about the result, what will happen after five or six months. What should be your action? Plan your tomorrow. Make a short term plan. Suppose if you are starting with anesthesia or physiology, whatever subject you are starting with, First of all, finish all these subjects one by one, one by one. Easy to understand. So make a short term plan. It will help you in the longer run. Why you are having this kind of difficulty that you are lagging behind the teacher's space? Please remember, most of the students do this kind of thing that, okay, sir is teaching psychiatry today. I will revise psychiatry with another subject next time. No, please don't do this. Rule should be like this. Whatever a teacher has taught you in class today, same thing you should be able to revise today only. Basically, before you attend day two class, you should be well versed. You should do good revision of day one class. If you perform like this, in this manner, you will not be lagging behind the teacher space. Skipping the mock exam, this is really a big problem please understand this so many medicals have this kind of thought process that if i write the exam if i score less oh my god i can go into depression please remember here writing the mock exam is not for your final assessment no this is not going to give you the result writing the mock exam is for your self-assessment so that you can understand whether you are on the right track of exam preparation or not. It will help you in understanding your weaker segments. So please do write all the exams. And jumping from one platform to another, no. Please remember, stick to one platform. Whatever a teacher has taught you from that platform, please keep on revising again and again, again and again. Remember, read one topic six times from one book rather than one topic from six books. It will waste your time. You don't have that much time. You are left only with five or five and a half months. So what are the requirements to pass exam in six months? First of all, read all 19 subjects. Days are gone when you would have grade in 14 to 15 subjects and you could have passed. No, 
nowadays all questions are being asked in an integrated manner so please read all 19 subjects there should be self-assessment on daily basis what does it mean before you go to your bed please assess yourself whatever you have planned for today did you achieve or not and next important point this is the rule for any kind of exam revise at least for four times basically four times good revision it is mandatory i'm telling you mcq practice on daily basis this should be your habit that on daily basis you should be able to solve minimum 30 questions mini mock exam you have to write every month and please do write minimum six to eight mock exams before your final exam now let's understand what is the fmg pattern see clinically integrated questions will be 160 to 170 image based questions will be 20 to 30 one-liners are fact-based 70 to 80 and related to clinical practice there would be mostly 20 to 30 questions this is just an analysis but please keep in mind most of the questions will be clinically integrated if you ask me sir what about pyq yes pyq in the beginning you should do you should solve all the pyqs at least for one time so that you can understand what is the hot topic what are the recent analysis of the exams but at the same time please keep in mind pyqs will not be repeated mostly most of the same topics are being asked always keep in mind 200 questions will always be doable you can easily solve up to 200 questions 100 questions will be difficult and that will be difficult for everyone so please keep in mind students do not fail because they are doing mistake in difficult questions they get failed because they are doing mistakes in easy questions now see all 19 subjects one by one non-clinical subjects like anatomy biochemistry physiology microbiology pharmacology and pathology from these non-clinical subjects 90 questions are being asked from the major subjects like medicine surgery ops gyne psm ophthalmology pediatrics and ent approximately 150 to 160 questions will be there and short subjects like psychiatry radiology orthopedics anesthesia forensic and derma yeah from these short subjects 40 to 50 questions remember most important subjects out of these 19 will always be surgery ops gyne psm these three after that ophthalmology pediatrics ent and pathology these subjects will be having the maximum scores so please do not leave these most important subjects after that short subjects will always be winning subjects short subjects will be having more accuracy in solving the question so please do not leave any short subjects also now how to divide your time i give the strategy of 15 plus 9 hours out of 9 hours 7 hours for sleeping and 2 hours for miscellaneous activities out of 15 hours 8 to 9 hours you will be attending the classes four hours you have to revise the class lecture every day please keep one hour for a group discussion make a small group group discussion is always healthy but make a short group make a small group there should be maximum two or three in a group right so whatever you have learned today before you go to sleep please keep one hour time for discussion close your books ask questions and answer right in the same manner one hour you have to keep for half an hour for 30 questions and half an hour for mistakes to be rectified and please keep 45 minutes to one hour for the revision of old subject which you already have completed suppose if you are going to leave a subject completely after learning you will forget everything after one month so you have to keep on revising old subject also overall 15 hours a day seven days a week there is no substitute of hard work so basically you have to surrender yourself to your mentors for next five to six months no celebration no social media no family function and yes always keep in mind winners don't do different things they do things differently 
फाइव और सिक्स मंथ्स विल बी देयर से दिस मच ड्यूरेशन विल बी देयर फॉर एवरी वन everyone will be having almost equal faculties equal subjects equal duration but everyone will be having different score right my dear friends always keep in mind that to be disciplined for one day or one week is very easy but to be disciplined for next 5 or 6 months will be very very difficult so please understand that winners don't do different things they do things differently you have to be very very much disciplined and most important thing for all the fresher you should know the fact that most of the toppers are freshers okay so give your best i wish you all the best